in this video we're going to talk about how to make your own bike packing bags also going to talk about how to choose the right bike seat here we have uh, Natasha here we have a little bike bag uh, which is just a little shopping bag and it's on the handlebars there so we're going to talk about bike saddles as well we're at Steve Hogg bike fitting here in uh, Sydney Australia actually, actually Steve's moved to camp look at that saddle look at that saddle Could, would you ride that saddle personally I, I don't know but uh, it, it is I call that the G-string saddle uh, we'll get to the my favourite saddle in a moment. We'll get to my favourite saddle in a moment, but uh, we'll also get to the bike packing bag. So watch watch the entirety of this video, and you're gonna see some really interesting stuff. But it's a shark fin saddle. Anyway, so this is a saddle that uh, I find many females uh, cyclists do enjoy. It's called the Specialized Power Saddle, and uh, we have it set up so it's angled down just a few degrees, a few degrees. So it's sort of a, sort of a wide-ish. And it's got to be a bit of a gap in the middle there so you can sit on your ischial tuberosities. This is the favourite saddle I've ever used. Uh, it's a specialised phenom. It's in the 130mm. It's quite a hard saddle. It's got a, a groove in the middle so your gooch doesn't get too smashed up. But this is my favourite saddle. And I have it angled just a, a degree or two down. Not too much, not too up, but just down. And uh, I, I check my saddle regularly, make sure it hasn't slipped, etc. Because saddles often can slip, you hit a bump, etc. So that's two saddles that I really enjoy. Uh, what works for you, let us know down below. Uh, there's a bit of bike bling here. This is an interesting one. I thought I'd just throw it in the video. Uh, compact cranks, lightweights, the DI2, the Fernwegs, and uh, it is a Personi, not a cheap bike. Uh, anyway, so let's get to the bike packing bags. This is a, a simple bike packing bag solution. Let's say you go to the shops, you've got nothing going on in terms of bag solutions. And so we've got the old shopping bag tied to the handlebars. Now you have to be really careful that this isn't going to land on your front wheel because otherwise it's going to take your spokes out and take you out and you'll be piled driving into the into the uh, tarmac and getting run over. So this is a great little option there. You can sort of tie it in between your handlebars and just check it regularly and uh, make sure it doesn't make sure it's not able to hit your spokes because anything that hits your spokes can get caught in there and it could be very very dangerous for you and those around you. So right around Bangkok streets here uh, easy place to get around. It's definitely the fastest way to get around any big city is ride your bike. It is the fastest way to get around. You meet more people, stay fit, you know, keep the metabolism ramped and uh, save on pollution, save on money, save on everything, save on emissions and it just also helps inspire locals when they see foreigners riding in their town. They're like, wow, like foreigners ride here? That's pretty cool. And they want to model that. They want to model that. So. What sort of person are you being every day when you go into your transport modalities? Are you being a model for inspiration or are you being a, a planetary irritation? So there we go, and just unravels like that, and then boom, ready to chuck in some fruit, ready to roll. Carbs, carb fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.